Welcome to episode two of Ask JP. You ask me the questions, I give you my answers. Okay, getting right to it. <clears throat> this question appears to be from a young female. Uh, okay, here we go. There's a, there's a little bit of humor in this question. I don't want to have man shoulders. <laughs> How can I lift and not get super buff? Because <laughs> so, I still want to wear tank tops and dresses and not look gross. <laughs> okay, I'm not necessarily laughing at the question. I am laughing at the question. It's kind of funny. There's some humor in it. But, <clears throat> okay. I've actually um, had conversations with... Uh, uh, girls in my classes uh, up at State before about this and working out. And here's the bottom line quick answer. Ladies, you are not going to get jacked and swole just because you are doing some bigger lifts alone. Okay? So you need to stop, you know, staying away from certain lifts because, oh, I don't want to get too big, whatever. Like, Dudes say that all the time, that they're going to be lifting heavy and they're wanting to get big and it doesn't happen. There's a lot of other factors that go into that. So ladies, do not stay away from certain lifts. Like if you're doing um, you're straight up not machine wise, if you're doing free weight stuff like um, barbell back squat, um, even barbell front squat, deadlift, um, Romanian deadlift, um, dumbbell bench press, <clears throat> just regular bench press, bench press, incline bench press. Like there's a lot, hang clean, um, doing like the jerk or something like that. Um, some of those cleans and presses, like just that alone is not gonna suddenly add like 40 pounds of muscle on you. Like oh my goodness, what just happened? What happened to me? Like there's gonna be a lot of other things in it. You're gonna start needing to pound a lot of food to um, give back to your body. You know what you took away from in the workout and eating almost. You know could be almost eating double what you normally would when you're training that hard. So, ladies, here's my biggest thing, and I'm the biggest advocate for: do not stay away from lifting because you're afraid you're gonna get big. It's okay. If anything, you're probably gonna notice like. Aside from, you know, being sore at first or whatever, um, you're probably going to notice that you're starting to tone up, okay? So that's the thing that I think you're going to notice before anything is you're going to start to feel more uh, more toned, definitely more strong. You're going to look more toned or whatever. You're not suddenly going to have all these, like, <clears throat> Arnold deltoids, okay? Those aren't going to pop out of nowhere because you're just like, oh, my goodness, I started lifting and now I'm so big. You're going to be fine, Okay. Don't worry about that. Um, check out different workout plans. See what um, fits best for you. Maybe lifting big isn't going to fit best for you. And that's okay. There's a lot of different things you can do. And maybe I'll even touch on that in a later episode. But <clears throat> to answer the question, <laughs> um, what was the original question? Uh, I'm afraid to lift because I'm not going to get big. Do not be afraid. Go and lift. You will be fine. Unless you're like pounding a bunch of supplements and a lot of food. And maybe that's your you know, desired thing is to get really big and swole, then maybe that'll happen. But ladies, for the most part, do not be afraid to go and lift heavy because you're afraid you're going to get swole. Okay. There's my thoughts. Take it or leave it. <clears throat> Don't forget to go and like our page on Facebook. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at JPFitness316, I believe, and uh, show us some love, share the episode, like it, whatever. Okay. I'm done. Sweet.